In this video, I'm going to show you how to grade handwritten files processed as PDFs in OneNote. The first thing you're going to want to do is open a notebook and name the assignment. You don't need to label the pages in here. You can always add a page if there's not a page there. We're going to print the files to this page. So we'll start by inserting, and you don't want to insert a file. You want to insert a printout. So go find where you have the exams and grab the first exam that you want to insert. So I'm going to grab Bob's exam and insert it. Remember, I'm inserting this as a printout. You can see this one comes in with cam scanner and it comes in very nicely. Then I'm going to add a page and do the same thing. Insert another printout. Let's insert Carl's. There we go. Again, coming from cam scanner. Nice job easy to read. I'm going to add one more just to show you how this works. And this time I'm going to choose one that's not going to be as nice of an example. This was a file scanned using some other kind of software program. This is why it's really nice if you can get all of your students using the same program because you can make sure they're all using the same settings and you can get the best results. Notice that this one is taking a lot longer to come into OneNote, to print to OneNote. And when it does print to OneNote, you can see that the gray on the paper is a lot more prominent. The file size is a lot different. In fact, I'll have to collapse this and scan back and forth across the page to actually grade this paper. This paper did not come in using the same app as the other two. When it's time to grade, I typically will go through and grade a couple questions at a time. So I might go through and grade questions one and two. I'm going to use the drawing menu to do this. Using the pen with some kind of color on it is best. So I can circle things on the page, I can cross things out, I can add my own writing to the page, especially if you're using a tablet. If you need to use text commenting, there's just one little trick turn on the text mode and then make sure to double click in the margin and that's where you can start adding text. Once you've added the text you can move it to wherever you'd like on the page. If you'd like to be able to write text exactly where you want to on the page you're going to need to right click on the page and set the picture as background. As soon as you do that, then you can place the cursor for the text box anywhere you'd like and start writing. But it is necessary to take every page and get it to be background on the page. And that's a little bit of work. So you can get around that by just double clicking in the margin to get your cursor and then moving the text box when you're done. So I'd go through and grade problems one and two at Bob's paper and then go through and grade problems one and two on Carrie's paper and then do the same thing on Annie's paper. Notice again this is much more difficult to read because it came in through a different scanning app. So let's give her a check mark as well. When I'm done grading all of the exams I need to print them back to the students. On the PC version of OneNote, there is a dot 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 menu in the upper right hand corner and that's where you're going to find the print option. And you're just going to print or save the file as a PDF. In the Mac version, I do this from the file menu and again I Let me show you what this looks like. When the student opens the file, they're going to see their work plus your annotations in text and in drawings on top of their work. You can simply upload this file back to the Learning Management System to save it with the students.